these terms. Okay, so today we're going to do a very, very quick and simple demonstration on how you would apply an Inconel 681 Sea Turtle tag to a Sea Turtle flipper. The first thing we need is we need the actual Sea Turtle tags. Along with that, we also need the applicator, which will help us actually attach the tag to the Sea Turtle. The first and most important thing to remember is that we must be hygienic at all times. So before commencing any work, the best thing to do is give your hands a quick clean with some form of antiseptic. In this instance, we're using a simple glycerine base. We're just going to give our hands a rub, make sure our hands are clean before we touch anything. So now that our hands are done, the next thing we do is we need to actually get the flipper tag itself. We need to take the tag from its actual carton. Tags that come from the factory have a small container of oil over them. That means that we cannot apply the tag directly. First of all, we have to use some rubbing alcohol on some cloth and we have to clean the tag. So we thoroughly clean the sea turtle tag before application. The next job after that is we have to take the actual flipper of the turtle. We would normally tag between the first and the second scale at the trailing end of the front flippers. Each tag has an individual number which needs to be noted down. For the purposes of this exercise, we're going to use an old flip-flop slipper that has a reasonably similar consistency to when you are actually applying a tag to a sea turtle. So we will imagine that this is the flipper itself. What we need to do is we need to apply this tag through this in a safe and simple manner that would cause a minimum amount of discomfort to the sea turtle. So we now take our actual tag, we place it inside our applicator, this way. The tag is now ready to be applied to the sea turtle. The number side of the tag, which is the unique identification, is on the side that has the pin. So we will apply the tag in this fashion. So we now have the sea turtle flipper, we have the tag, but before we apply the tag, what we must do is we must actually apply some antiseptic to the tag area. So in this instance, we are going to use betadine, which will ensure there is a minimum risk of infection. So we simply rub it and we make sure all sides have been covered. We then, in as swift a movement as possible, we take the flipper, we place the tag, leaving a gap of approximately eight millimeters at the trailing edge of the tag, and we press down sharply and swiftly, then we release, and we will see that the tag is now applied to the flipper in a secure manner, leaving a gap at the back to allow for future growth of the sea turtle slipper. We carefully note down the number of the tag, which is unique to each tag, and also on the rear of the tag there are contact details. If some fisherman or a third party finds the sea turtle, they can report where they have found the turtle and the details. This international database helps us all build a better picture and helps us work towards more and improved sea turtle conservation. Thank you for watching, we hope you've learned something.